This is Tank's Vlog for October 20th, 2017, wrapping up today in sports. A little bit of a late vlog. I went to the Devil game last night. So, by, so I'm actually, it's actually a morning blog, vlog for the, for a change. <laughs> but, anyway, on with it. Justin Verlander, if you need a hero to pitch you at an elimination game, you turn to Justin Verlander, who's been, since his career at the Tigers, has been unbelievable when his team is in a do-or-die situation. Tonight, he did it again. Seven scoreless innings as the Astros beat the Yankees 7-1 to to force the seventh game. This has the makings of an all-home series. I started feeling that a couple days ago. And uh, it's all hands on deck, Game 7. So the Yankees' advantage, whatever advantage they might have had out of the bullpen, is not going to exist. Here's what I think is going to happen. I think you're going to see Dallas Keuchel at some point come out of the pen and pitch some key innings. And that's going to get be the difference. Is the Astros beat the Yankees in advance of the World Series for the second time. And Justin Verlander, if uh, that does happen, is a lock for the ALCS MVP. An absolute lock. The game I was at... Huh, well, you know, Devils... I, I, I couldn't be happier how the Devils are playing. It was their second loss of the year. Uh, it was a tough situation. You know, I, and, and they have a whole week off now. I don't understand this week off. Uh, I know the NHL likes doing that. They're having every team have a week off here and there. It's kind of early for the Devils, especially with all the youngsters they have. Yeah, I would really prefer an off week later in the season. But And uh, it was the second night of back-to-back. Back-to-backs are brutal, as it is, if you just... They had a back-to-back -back last week in New York and New Jersey. But this is going an overtime in Ottawa to New Jersey. So they were a step slow tonight. And the Sharks played a good game. Martin Jones was solid in goal. 3 nothing loss. The funny thing was uh, the anthem singer for the uh, Devils. Uh, midway through, she stopped. Uh, she forgot the words. And the whole crowd helped her finish. But the worst part of the night, come on, Prudential Center, where are my bacon wrapped hot dogs? I used to love those things. They were nice, deep, fat fried. I don't know what you gave me today. I had hot dogs here. They were among the worst hot dogs I've ever tasted. They were undercooked. The bread was uh, stale. It was a foot-long hot dog that was just absolutely awful. So if you go to the Prudential Center, don't have the hot dogs in Section 125. At the uh, boardwalk se uh, section. I don't know if the hot dogs are bad just there. But stick with the chicken tenders. That's the best thing they have. Basketball, meanwhile. Injuries continue to compile. Chris Paul. Now is going to be out two to four weeks. What is going on? You got Hayward out for the year. Jeremy Lin out for the year. Paul getting hurt. You know, I'm starting to uh, believe what Dave Portnoy said on the rundown the other day. This NBA season might be cursed. It might be cursed. All right. Now, of course, it's Saturday morning. So that means it's college football time. And brought to you by my bookie, AG. Is my picks for week eight. My six-pack picks in the NCAA. We got... Our Big 12 matchup today we're focusing on is Iowa State against Texas Tech. Iowa State went into Norman and stunned the Sooners. Last week, they continued the momentum crushing the hapless Kansas Jayhawks. Now, they have a tougher task going to Texas Tech, the top uh, turnover defense in the Big 12 conference. I don't think the Cyclones are going to win. But I like them to cover the seven-point spread. Meanwhile, in the SEC, poor Tennessee. 
Butch Jones, I mean, he, this this could be the most hated man in Tennessee right now. There's so many people that want his head. It's just, oof. The Volunteers have not had a good season. They've been embarrassed a couple times already. And they're going to get embarrassed even more as they go into Tuscaloosa. Play the red hot Crimson Tide. That's going to be a name your score type of game for Alabama. It might be that might be the good news for uh, Vols fans who want Jones out. It's a big ugly loss could finally be the nail in the coffin. I like uh, Miami to stay unbeaten, but I like Syracuse to cover the spread. Syracuse, nice win last week against Clemson. Now it's on the road, and they're still a three and three team. But I like I like the Orange here. I like the Orange to at least make a game of it. I think the Hurricanes will win, but that spread is way too high. I like uh, Penn State. You know, Michigan just, just can't get enough going on offense. Their defense has been solid at time, most of the season, but that offense has just been brutal. And they have not played that many great a team that's really great. I just I just think the Wolverines, they've looked a step slow, and I think they get exposed today. I like the Nittany Lions to win that one. In our nightcap game, I like uh, Washington State to bounce back in a big way against Colorado at home. And in the feature game, wake up the echoes. Wake up the echoes. Notre Dame's got one of the best run games in college football. Their only loss is a one-point loss to a top five Georgia team. They got the arch-rival Trojans coming in. And I think that we're going to see a big day from the uh, Irish running attack led by Josh Adams. I like the Irish to win this game and really establish himself as a top 10 contender. Today's three stars are Justin Verlander, of course, Martin Jones of the Sharks, who had that shutout against the Devils. And Anthony Davis of the Pelicans. We uh, wish a happy birthday to Whitey Ford, who's 89 years old. Uh, he's been kind of failing health lately, but of course Yankee fans just love seeing him come on opening day. And we take a look back at Fred Dreyer's two safety game against the Green Bay Packers. And you thought he was just a TV cop. Well, you know what's ironic about the uh, his two-sack game? One of the quarterbacks he brought down in the end zone was named Hunter. Good day. <laughs>